Hello everyone. Get ready to see familiar things from a mind-blowing perspective. In the next few minutes, you'll only see top-notch shots taken from a bird's eye view, and not just using drones. Let's get it on. The guys were out biking and decided to stop to enjoy the view from the tower. They casually left their bikes in an open field because they didn't expect this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, your eyes aren't fooling you. Drones can do more than just take awesome shots. They can also cause some serious trouble. Well, the folks controlling them, that is. <laughs> Yet, the potential of drones can and should be harnessed for good. That's exactly what this guy did. When he noticed a puppy trapped in the drainage system, he immediately came up with a rescue strategy. It's a fantastic example of how technology can help not just humans, but also animals. Just when you thought it was a routine flight and the plane was already descending, out of nowhere pops up this seemingly harmless drone, and… Passengers watched with curiosity as the drone flew at such a height, unaware of the havoc this little guy could wreak on the plane's wing. As some folks are busy making up excuses, others are busy proving to themselves and life that they are unbreakable. Just look at this guy. He's a true daredevil, excelling at skateboarding and skiing. I bet he could easily become an instructor with skills like that. Talk about an indomitable spirit. And is another person who enjoys a good old adrenaline rush. Mountain climbers absolutely love conquering peaks and pushing their own limits, all while testing the endurance of the mountains themselves. Sometimes, they decide to spice up their hobby by venturing onto glaciers, just like this man. He was the last one from his group and found himself in a tough spot. Then they tossed him a rope to help. See what happens next. He can't believe it either. I don't know if it's pure luck or the universe lending a hand, but man, he is incredibly lucky. This adorable bear cub dropped by to visit some people, and while they were happy to have such a cute guest, it's generally best for wild animals to stick to their own turf. That's why the homeowner came up with a plan. He launched a small drone to scare away the guest, and kindly escorted him back to his family in the woods. The poor thing was clearly scared, but quickly ran back to its kin, while the guy definitely earned a thumbs up for his creativity and kindness. Now, locals won't have to worry about a predator roaming around the neighborhood. Sometimes, animals don't run in fear from technology. Instead, they seem annoyed by its presence. These bears were chilling out in the freezing water when one of them noticed a drone hovering around. Obviously, this annoyed him. Who likes their personal space invaded? 
So he decided to teach the paparazzi a lesson. Check out his moves. The bear dives under the ice, sneaks around, and then suddenly pops up nearby. If that drone were prey, it would have been caught for sure. Imagine this. You're enjoying your morning coffee, peeking out the window, and you see this. Texans don't need to use their imagination to feel the impact of this. Recently, a dusty storm hit one of the counties in the state. This phenomenon is a result of particularly strong thunderstorms. The storm doesn't just cover the area, it can uproot trees and tear roofs off buildings, not to mention reducing visibility and polluting the air. Looks impressive, right? Floods can happen due to a range of reasons – melting glaciers, dam ruptures, heavy rainfall, and other factors. When these factors combine, though, water levels can rise dramatically, engulfing everything in its path. Look at how badly Pakistan was hit during the massive flooding. Climate changes affected a third of the country at once. Over 2 million homes were left in such a terrible, destroyed state. It doesn't take nature much time to disrupt the usual way people live. What you're seeing isn't a scene from an action movie. This ship got busted a couple of years back. It was found loaded with a ton of illegal stuff in one of the ports. They arrested the whole crew, and the ship got handed over to an artificial reef program. After a while, they decided to sink it and turn it into a fish home at the bottom of the sea. Pretty unusual way to get rid of it. Take a look. This is what a marine landing exercise on an unprepared coastline looks like. Where else would you see a giant armored personnel carrier diving in so gracefully? A flamethrower itself is pretty cool, but filming it in action with a drone makes it look like a scene from an action movie. You can't deny how cool these scenes are. They look seriously epic. Take a bunch of drones, attach some lights to them, and program them in a certain way, and you'll get an amazingly beautiful dance. That's what modern technology can do. Instead of Swan Lake, now it's Drone Lake.
Nature is amazing. It creates landscapes that people can't even imagine. Admit it, there have been times when the beauty of nature took your breath away. It's just that astonishing. But of course, Mother Nature knows how to show her temper. How else can we explain the seriously scary volcanic eruptions we've been seeing lately? If you can feel a roller coaster of emotions just through a screen, from terror to admiration, Try to imagine what it was like for the family of tourists who stumbled upon the eruption of a volcano by chance. They were walking near the volcano on Tanner Island when it all started. Luckily, they were at a safe distance and watched the eruption from afar, but they managed to capture these epic shots with a drone. It's hard to imagine the rush of adrenaline they felt watching something like that. Vertical speed up 146 a minute, perfect. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at 800, 880, 840 feet going in the wrong direction. It's amazing how much inspiration you can get from an animated movie. This guy must have been really impressed by watching Up and decided to recreate the journey. Well, not on the same scale, though. John Fries tied 170 helium balloons to a lawn chair and soared to an altitude of nearly 12,400 feet. He spent about four hours in the air and didn't need the parachute or oxygen he brought along. The flight went smoothly and John's now got memories to last a lifetime. Every now and then, living in a bustling city becomes overwhelmingly tiring and you find yourself yearning to flee to somewhere far away. Ideally, it'd be a place of complete solitude, where there's absolutely no one around and you don't have to talk to anyone. Well, that's exactly what this guy did. He set up the perfect spot for some alone time, cozy with a great view and the sounds of nature. Where would you go to escape the hustle and bustle of the city? Share your thoughts in the comments. We all have dreams. Some want a home and a family, others desire wealth, and some aspire to achieve worldwide fame. However, there are some whose dreams stand out from the rest. This guy knew he had great balance, practiced a lot, and always imagined himself walking a tightrope in the Alps. And one day, he did it. I won't lie, watching him live out that dream was absolutely breathtaking. If you know someone who always has their head in the clouds, tell them about this place. It's in the Nandi Hills in India, where people literally live like that. Isn't it like paradise? You get breathtaking views of fluffy clouds, mountain ranges, and there are even ancient temples there. 
It's such a picturesque spot. Hit the like button if you're already dreaming of going there for at least a day. What might lead to electricity being cut off? Well, anything really, like a train coming off the tracks. That's exactly what went down in the US, leaving hundreds of houses without power because of a mishap on the railway lines. The train had a massive 80 carriages, and most of them ended up overturned. Everyone's okay though, nobody got hurt. The train was carrying plastic pellets and oil, which unfortunately ended up polluting the area next to the tracks. But looking at the condition of the train cars, it's obvious what was inside didn't have a shot at staying intact. One of the scariest things floods can do is wreck and sweep away buildings with their powerful currents. In Frankfurt, the elements destroyed an entire dock. The debris got carried down the river, where the structure collided with a bridge and got completely demolished. That's just a small taste of what nature is capable of. It's scary, but also kind of impressive to see. Avalanches are one of nature's most breathtaking phenomena, but they're also incredibly dangerous. They can be triggered by simple things like the thawing of the snow's bottom layer. It's strange to think about, what could regular snow possibly do? Yet that's the danger of avalanches. They may not look threatening, but they can reach speeds of up to 217 miles per hour, faster than a Formula One car. And the air pressure impact before the snow gives way can be seriously harmful. It's awesome that thanks to drones, we can watch this epic event from the safety of our own homes. Being really good at your job and having luck on your side is the best combo. For these people, even falling down is just a little hiccup. We all know that doing what you love with a bunch of people who feel the same way makes it more fun. And those fishermen in Minnesota, they hit the jackpot. Every year, 10,000 people gather together for an ice fishing event. It's a charity competition with simple rules. Catch the biggest fish in three hours and you win. But what really gets these guys excited is being around thousands of people who are as passionate about fishing as they are. Drones offer more than just stunning landscape shots and beautiful footage, they also bring a variety of mishaps. Even the most experienced and skilled operators aren't safe from them.
Even folks with impressive skills can find themselves in need of a rescue at times. This drone was zipping around effortlessly until it accidentally slammed into a beam. And found itself at the bottom of a silo 65 feet below the surface. It couldn't fly out, so the owners had to rely on luck, a bit of creativity, and a basic rope. Luckily, everything worked out, and they managed to rescue the little fella from the gloomy depths in no time. Check him out, it's all set for another daring flight. I really want to meet the owner of the car and hear the story of how that happened. Now, this car will be stuck in the ice for future generations to find. Take a look at this scene from an epic angle. A cargo vessel setting off for work from Minnesota, pushing through countless sheets of ice covering the lake. I'm sure the view from the ship's deck was nothing short of breathtaking if not even more captivating. You must have heard about how in Switzerland, sometimes cows have to travel like this. And in Spain, locals notice drones carrying pigs. That's quite an odd sight that could spook anyone. But it turns out it's not as scary as it seems. The pigs were fake, and the whole thing was just a simple prank. That's an unusual sense of humor for sure. This artist has discovered a way to create eco-friendly art. What's really interesting is that, unlike regular paintings, you need to view his works from as far away as possible. Who could possibly say no to an absolutely stunning fireworks show? Every celebration needs fireworks. They're what really set the mood. Fireworks come in all shapes and sizes, but each one is incredibly beautiful. But I bet you've never seen fireworks from this angle before. Thanks to drones once again. Now we have these amazing shots. Check out how much cooler fireworks look from the inside. It's like a glitter explosion. Simply magical. Want to know how to throw an epic New Year's celebration? Take a cue from the people in China. They've put on a jaw-dropping show with thousands of drones choreographing mesmerizing formations in the sky. And the best part? You can enjoy the whole show right from your apartment window. However, other countries are already getting on board. Indonesia had its own version of the show. Let's hope more countries join in soon, making drone shows a New Year's tradition. Have you ever felt like lighthouses exude this mystical charm? Especially with a scene like that in the background, it feels like it's straight out of a movie. 
But no, it's just a real lighthouse in the video, covered in ice and snow. The coast was like a scene from a fairy tale. It's no surprise that some folks ventured out to capture that beauty, not bothered by the cold. Just a quick reminder of how much we appreciate each and every one of our subscribers. Become one of them and make sure to hit that like button on this video. Instead of traditional board games, this bar in Germany offers a unique way to entertain its patrons. People can play classic arcade games projected onto the facade of a nearby building. It's a fun experience for gamers and spectators alike. Your fisherman buddy would have shed a tear seeing that many salmon in one spot, although fish migration for spawning is pretty normal. Folks from Swansea, Australia were lucky to see a massive run of salmon on the move. Even a shark tagged along for the journey. Talk about epic. I refuse to watch the Mad Max saga if it's not filmed by the operator of that drone. Same goes for Fast and Furious 11, and whoever's controlling that drone too. In Vietnam's historic city of Hue, there's this charming place called Cao Hai Langoon, where functionality meets beauty. Here, a large dam controls the water levels, managing the flow of many rivers in the province. It's no wonder that many artists have been inspired by the picturesque landscapes here. Looking to have fun on a weekend in one of the world's best resort towns? How about hitting the azure waters with a hundred neighbors? It's quite a sight, very much like Miami style. <laughs> 